Hello once again and welcome to another exciting episode of Social Studies. And today we have one of everyone's favorite things, writing some sentences. This is 3.18, another amazing expanding little sentence assignment. Just a quick refresher. Um, as you know, many seventh graders and many adults, when they have to write a sentence, they try to keep it as short as possible. Like we won, she said it, we went there, they fought them, etc., etc. Which in a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation when you're talking to someone might be fine. But when you are writing something, it's not always so helpful and we want to be helpful. So we are going to expand sentences like these so that they are perfect. So this is the reminder of lesson. This goes way back to the beginning of the year. Just listen clearly. I do not want you to write about the land bridge or Beringia. This is an example. This is not what you're writing. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, but this is kind of the idea here. You're going to explain what's going on here. This person, I will say it was me, they crossed it. I didn't do a very good job. You're going to make it better by adding some more information, like when did this thing happen? Where? Who was involved? What did they actually do? Why? Now, you might not always be able to have all of these questions answered, but you're going to try to include as many of them as you can. These part, this is just for collecting information here. Your first this is just to help you write the sentence. But then when you go to write your sentence, don't forget about this part. Okay, so this was an example of a maybe not perfect, but a better sentence than they crossed it. During the last ice age, nomadic hunter-gatherers following animal herds crossed over a land bridge into North America and became the first Americans. One solid sentence that has a lot of information. Is that everything you would ever need to know about this subject? No, but this is just one sentence. That's all you're writing. I'm not expecting you to tell me the entire story of anything here. But remember, we are not writing about the land bridge. Okay, here are some other reminders. When you write your sentence, it is asking you to write one sentence, one complete sentence, not two sentences, not three sentences, not five sentences with just commas instead of periods. One sentence. You don't need to necessarily include everything, but you need to include a lot. Sentences start with capital letters. Be careful there. Proofread. Read it over again and again. Remember also um, names of people, places, groups, laws, ships. Those things are all capitalized, but other random ones are not. Oh, I guess I got a little ahead of myself here. Do not start your sentence with pronouns. For example, don't say he or she or they or it. Do not do that. Do not, do not, do not. That's not necessarily against the law. You're not going to get arrested, but that's for this exercise. We're not doing that. Um, like I said about capitalizing, be careful there. Don't capitalize other random words. Make sure you use a period at end. And if you spell words wrong, fix them. You are lucky to have the technology to give you at least a good hint when something is spelled wrong. Some other reminders, or one more, I said one more, it's really two, I guess. There's gonna be a bonus sentence at the end. If you watched the video yesterday, you already know, well, maybe it wasn't yesterday, the last 3.17 video, you've already hopefully done the research that you need to do for that one. But besides the bonus one, all of the information you need is in your notes the timeline, timeline to revolution, the folding notes. There's not a huge amount of information. I do not want you to go online and search for your own information, except for the bonus one. The bonus one is different. I don't want you to, last time people were telling me all kinds of information that really wasn't important and wasn't what I wanted you to know. You're not searching, you're just using your notes. Um, for the bonus one, you might need to look online, but don't use words that you don't know. Any word you use in a sentence, you should be able to say, spell, and tell me what it means. Okay, so what are we writing about? Well, the first one is going to be about Paul Revere. Hmm, what did he do? Why did he do it? Where did he do it? When did he do it? In one sentence. The next one, 
It's going to be about common sense. What's common sense? Do we know common sense? Does anyone have common sense? Maybe who did something about this? Why, when, where, etc. Again, one sentence. You're not writing a book report on it. Just one sentence. Finally, your bonus one. If you did this before the previous one, you might already know who this person is. Sybil Luddington. If not, this is the one that you can Google. But remember to only use words that you know, and you're only writing one sentence. I don't care when she was born, when she died, things like that. Telling us why, what she did related to this unit that is considered historically important. Okay? All right. Um, that's all I have for today. So enjoy your writing. And remember, good. you can never make your writing too good. You can always make it better. Even the best writers in the world don't just write something once and leave it. And as you know from past, I might make you do this again if it's not if they're not generally good. So take an extra minute and do a good job. Thank you and have fun.